Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Misner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to make your footage look a little bit more British inside of DaVinci Resolve. So in Resolve, we've got this cool footage of my buddy Rodney Hayer wearing some cool sunglasses, playing some cool guitar, and some cloudy weather that looks very British. And let's say we want to make this look British. So the first thing I'm going to do is, since this is shot all flat on the Blackmagic Cinema camera, is I'm going to just punch it up with a LUT just a little bit. So you can obviously just add some saturation and contrast, but I'm lazy and I made this cool LUT pack called the House of LUTs, so I'm just going to use that. But you can see, you know, totally, you can totally do that just on your own. So in order to make this look actually British now, I'm going to add a new serial node with Alt-S and then a layer node on top of that with Alt-L. The way that layers work in DaVinci Resolve is this bottom one in the layer mixer would be like the top layer in Photoshop. So if I make a change to this one, you can see it. But if I make a change to the one underneath it, you don't see it yet because this layer is basically on top, even though it's on bottom. So that's confusing. What we're going to do to make this look British is we're going to turn this into a cooling type filter like you would have in Photoshop. So go color generator, pull that on there. It's all white and that's not all right with me. But um, all right, now we're going to change that color to a bluey green cyan ish cool, you know, whatever you want. Hit OK, close that guy, and now go to our key tab and bring our key output down until we get something that looks sort of like that. And then, of course, you can always go and change this. If you want to make this a little bit darker blue, you can do that. If you want to make it lighter blue, you can do that. So right about there is looking good for me. Close that guy back up. And now since this is a little bit more washed out than the normal British stuff, you can go ahead and add another little node here and add some contrast. And there we go. That's looking pretty nice. So just that simple. We took the footage from flat and Nashville looking to all sorts of cold and green and British looking. So whenever you're making your crazy British TV show, now you know how to do an easy little grade with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, be sure to check out mrmedia.com slash products, where we have the House Let's Pack, which is featured here, as well as other cool things like the Bright Light Sight Leak Pack and the Lens Junk Pack, as well as really popular recently is the Carnival Power Grades Pack, which you can see saves you a lot of time just pull it up real quick add hank on here and look at that and the cool things about power grades as opposed to LUTs is you get all of the control you want so you go in here you see oh look curves happened maybe i don't want it to be as contrasty sweet brighten it up so you want this side to be brighter whoa and more blue so Power grades are super cool. Check them out if you want. MeesterMedia.com slash products. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesterner Media. We have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.